Hello, teacher. Good evening. Ana Claudia, right in the nick of time. <laughs> That's right. That's cool. Yes, I could connect on time. That's nice. It's because no, I, I turned on my computer. I turned on my computer earlier because my other computer is uh, doing a, a, like an update for Microsoft. And I said, mm, it seems like there will be, it would be necessary to make an update. So let me turn on the laptop because sometimes that makes me uh, waste time making the, the updates. But no, wasn't necessary. Okay. You know, do you know this expression? Oh, no. On the nick of time. Okay, you connected right on the nick of time. Who's to a team? I'm going to write it. Okay. On the nick of time. Who's to a team? Excellent. Thank you, teacher. On the nick on time. Yeah, because actually I was watching the clock. I'm always watching the clock. Uh -huh. And when it and right when the clock turns into 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is when I start, <laughs> when I start uh, sending the messages. And the clock turn in and you connect to it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. And my customary message. Okay for everybody you know it's funny sometimes right when i send the message everybody start popping up <laughs> it's so maybe sometimes we miss a few minutes sometimes yeah. happens yeah yeah but it's good to have you here so tell me how are things how's everything well uh, I'm happy because today is Friday and this has been a week, a kind of busy week. But oh, really? yes, because we were finishing one month and starting a new one. Uh, every uh, beginning of the month, there are like new adjustments. Uh, we are still awaiting for. Uh, change changes in our comp plan, monthly comp plan. And there was just one, the revenue remains the same, that's good. But it's like this week uh, has been slowly because last slow, month, slow. slow, okay. Last month in the first week, I already had um, the 25% of my total sales and right now I just get like uh, 10% but we are starting the month and I'm pretty sure um, next week will be different. Yeah, I know the feeling, I know the feeling. Actually the same happened to me. You know, the first, the first two weeks of January for me were dead. <laughs> dead, like no classes. Mm. And you know that's bad for business. Exactly. <laughs> yes, because you had your budget, right? Yeah, and no, and the thing is this that I mean, I got my salary. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's theory, but you know, we set that apart, like for the bills, the utilities, the the, the bank, mm -hmm. and all the compromises you acquire. Mm -hmm. But the 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 bulk of the income I really I, I use for I use for for everything else uh -huh. is my extra hours ah okay so uh, I was like just waiting and waiting and <laughs> waiting and waiting <laughs> and you know there comes a time when you're like you start getting anxious uh -huh. because nothing appears and then everything comes together exactly. Yeah. exactly yeah like you know i just got the uh today i got 
two emails from two different companies that they want me working for them on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings. And of course you say yes, because you love to work. Yeah. No, because I had already acquired a compromise for Saturday mornings. Ah, okay. And, um, and I mean, uh, uh, I, I've got a contract that I could leave by a side, mm -hmm. but it's not my style. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Maybe you they can switch and they can adjust to your schedule, maybe Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. Uh, but the problem is this that uh, Saturday afternoon, well, actually, even though even part of Saturday morning, uh, um, next week I am starting a new career at the university. Oh, really? What are you going to study? Uh, school administration. Oh, awesome. In order to admin your business, growing up, incoming, money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's actually mostly is, to be honest with you, is more like personal growth. Oh, I understand. Is this like, um, not that, the whole career, ¿cómo le llaman cuando son diplomados o es la No, 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 es la licenciatura. Oh, is the, the, are you starting from the very beginning? No, no, because I mean, I already got another title, so. Exactly, case, exactly. That is case, the reason why I'm asking you is, ¿cómo se llaman cuando no son diplomados? Master, you mean, but no, 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 no. Yeah, but it's not Es like como una that, especialización. Right? Yep. Ah, okay. Yep. But uh, to be honest with you, it's uh, it's not that because it's not a master. It's a whole different career. It's a licenciatura. Oh. Are you going but, to study online, teacher? But, or? Yeah, but they're going to give me like, the, they're going to take into account some subjects from my previous career. Exactly. So I'm just going to study for uh, approximately for two years. Oh, two awesome. Years. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's why I like it because two more years and I'm going to be a bachelor in a different subject. Bachelor, exactly. In, in Which is cool. Yeah. Which is cool. I mean, in the end, perhaps, uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to help a little bit uh, with my, because then I just need to undergo another test and my my regular income with the government can increase like a, oh, awesome like a hundred like a hundred bucks a month oh that's good because you will be like on uh, upper level right due yeah. to this preparation yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, awesome. due to that uh -huh. and that's going to give me the chance to get into the other career that i want to study after that awesome and are you going to, to start this new career online or yeah, oh. the two years going to be online. Well, that's good. Hey, teacher, by the way, talking about a different thing, I got a doubt. When we say uh, this expression, uh, personal errands, do I need to say that they are personal errands or just saying errands we understand those are? No, because personal. I mean, uh, if you have a kid, Mm -hmm. And you tell your kid, okay, uh, you need to go to the store, you need to go then to the bank, uh, mm -hmm. please go pay this bill. He's running some errands, but not his errands. Mm -hmm. He's running your errands. Mm -hmm. So whenever you say personal, you are talking about yourself. Oh, okay. Can I say I'm uh, running business errands? Yes, yeah, sure. Like you got an employee. Uh -huh. and, and that person perhaps once on a while you send that employee hey look you need to go to the bank to pay this then you need to go to to this company please uh, you need to handle these receipts okay so he's running some errands for the company and if i'm that person i'm running some business errands or, or some yeah, sure. errands for the business for the company can yeah. i how can i say business errands Okay, business error. Okay, I had that doubt because I thought, well, 
always I uh, must uh, use a word beside errands or just can say errands. You can just say errands, but actually you say I'm doing some errands or I'm running some errands. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, I had that down. Now it's clear. Thank okay. you, teacher. Always interesting talking to you, Ana Claudia. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. The same to you. Let's see. Janina, where's Janina? Hello, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm just driving. Mm, same old trick. No problem, Janina. No problem. Just let me know when you're available for me. We got to talk today, okay? I just drive. Watch sure. out, the street. <laughs> I just drive, teacher. It's true. Yeah, that, that's why I'm scared. Watch out. Be careful. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Marta, where's Marta? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Marta. Finally, Hi. you're with me. Cool. Teacher, I have been. This working. has been an yes. easy week for you. Yeah, I know because all all week I working, working, working in my well, great not teacher. Really. Well, as far as I know, because Janita told me, she told me, I know what Marta does. I mean, <laughs> she must probably be sleeping, taking a nap. It's not true, teacher. <laughs> so a heavy week? Really, really. I, I have a you were migrating. Hard, you told me, hard right? week. Sorry? You were migrating, right? Yeah. How was it? That's always beautiful, a beautiful process. Yeah. It's How was it? Very, difficult? It's difficult, difficult process, teacher, because I have many issues. Because really? um, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, what was the problem? You were. How you do were, you say? You were migrating from system or from server? Uh, from system. Ooh. Because uh, other system connect with my system. So um, many connection is not ready for the upgrade. Um, so it's a big problem because all user call me uh, issue for many process in your day. So. Okay, yeah. hold on, hold on. Let me, let me see if I understand. You were migrating okay. from system, but people were using the system at the same time. Yeah, it's oh, correct. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> That's yeah, nice. yeah. <laughs> so you were I fighting. I am tired, teacher. <laughs> so you were, you were checking out code and you were writing code. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. In the same time. Oh my God. It's funny. <laughs> Very yeah, funny. <laughs> but, but is it over? I saw, or you're, I saw are you still working on it? Excuse me? Is it over? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, oh, some problem, but it's not. Um, more important. Okay, little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. Nice having you here, Martha. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, just give me a second, guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Okay, Frank, no problem. Hey guys, let me get the attendance right now so I can get rid of this screen. I'm sorry, I got two screens at the same time. So, Amber Abel Faro Gomez? Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez? Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia? Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Uh, 
Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. I believe it's the first time that I know if you are the Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Uh, Noria Elizabeth López Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Yeah. Uh, I lost the connection in a few minutes. No problem. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Is that where... Present. Roxana Ivette Sancio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñato. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Teacher. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Thank you, Wilfredo. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now I can focus just in you. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's Nicolás. Let's see. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you, Nicolás. Right on time. Excellent. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, who else is around? So, Erwin, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm good, I'm okay. Thank you for asking. You know, I am so a chain because I never solved your problem. And don't worry, it's my fault too. <laughs> no, 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 but you know what I'll do? I forgot to, to write about the, the, the problem. <laughs> okay, no, don't worry. Let's do something. Let's see, tomorrow, uh, 8 a.m. Erwin. So I remember, but no, at 8 a.m. I got a meeting, so it got to be at 9 a.m. Yeah, from 9 to 10, I will have time. Yeah, I will have time. Uh, so long. Perfect. Yeah, it's better. I have it written. I won't forget it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> How are you? How's everything? Um, really good, really good. Um, enjoying with my family, um, trying to do things on, at home. Uh, painting, uh, I, I continue gardening, and, mm -hmm. and doing many things. Uh, how's, how's the job hunting, if you don't mind me asking? It's a lot of work here. <laughs> no, job, job hunting. Job hunting? Yeah, how's job hunting? I mean... The interviews are you applying to companies? Um, I I I was two interviews uh, on Wednesday, and it could be, um, but I am thinking about it. Uh, one is uh, near to my uh, uh, old job, um, in Playa San Blas. Oh. Well, actually, it's closer. Yeah, very close. Yeah. So no. maybe um, this uh, th this Monday I'm going to 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 talk with the owners about the uh, the contract and the benefits. Mm -hmm. Hey. 
Okay, look at this phrase. Let's hope it pans out. Let's it's hope. Another way of, it pans out. It pans out. Mm -hmm. It pans. Look at the chat, at the Zoom chat. It pans uh -huh. out. Uh, it means like, let's hope it turns out uh, according to what you want. Okay. Yeah. But this is very informal. Let's hope it pans out. Okay for you. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the, I, I think that uh, it's necessary to, to negotiate. Yeah, is, it's always good. Yeah. B yeah very, very Because good. if you just accept, first you look too desperate and they can take advantage of that. Yeah. So the first interview with the people of this uh, hotel and restaurant, um, it was just for no getting to, to, to know, getting to know, and uh, they uh, asked me about my salary pretension. Oh yeah, I hate that that question. I always hate it. Uh, no, it's a good question because uh, it could be clear too. Oh, it should yeah. be clear um, because I, I, I would like to earn uh, one amount. So um, sometimes it's a negotiation, but sometimes it can't to be a yeah. negoci negotiator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. yeah I so know. I know what you mean. Maybe. I hope, I hope that everything turns out okay mm. for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, welcome to the class, Erwin. Thank you. Thank you. Fernando. Hello, Fernando. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's Friday. Today was a short day for you. So tell me, are you relaxed? Uh, no, not teacher. And Fernando says, yeah, whatever. No short day for me. <laughs> no, but I ended my, my war at... Uh, bye. But actually, I, I don't I don't have finished my work because I have some pending. But I go out uh, two p.m. because I have some pending. We need to go to mechanics. Mechanic. To, to what? Uh, mechanical. Oh, to the mechanic. To the mechanic. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I have a problem with with the car. Oh really? What's wrong with your car? Uh, maybe the transmission. Ouch! Automatic. It, yeah, automatic. Ouch. Maybe the transmission doesn't work properly. So we need to. Uh, I'm sorry to take it. Uh, we need to. We need to take it or in pass to took it. Llevarlo, you said. Yeah, llevarlo. To take it. To take it, okay. I need to take it. So um, I need to, I need a um, checking or scanner or I don't know. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mostly when, when it's the, the transmission. Well, let's hope it's your sensors because it's the, 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 the whole transmission. Ouch. Well, yeah. it depends on the type of transmission because if you got a, a an ATF, it's a little bit cheaper than a CVT. CVT. In this case, it's CVT. Uh, so sorry, but it. Um, Let's hope know. it's not the whole transmission. Yeah, yeah, it's. A, I hope too because it's very expensive to to fix to fix them. Yeah, you know, the like uh, last year, around, let's see, when was it? In 2000, yeah, last year, last year, like for January last year, we were fixing uh, a, a, a transmission for, uh, let me see, what was it? It was uh, Corolla 2014. Man, that thing's expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. And it, it was a CVT. Ooh. 
it hard. Yeah. The worst but, thing was that that the car, you know, the funny thing is this: the car had been both one month before. Well, no, 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 my thing is different. I had the car for one year. I have had. I have had, yeah. I have had for one year. One year and a half, I think. Okay. It's it's um it's not uh, a little time yeah I, yeah but, but i mean you have worked yeah but uh, exists the possibility that uh, the transmission is good but uh, it needs and uh, other checking and other proofs yeah. uh, it's always better to be safe yeah yeah so i uh, because because that I need to <laughs> I need to leave my from my house at early early from my work. Well, look at it in this way, you know, it's cheaper than what we did to the to the pickup in December last year. We had to make a full. Uh, I don't remember. We had to rebuild the engine. No. Completely. Completely. Oh. And yeah. that's expensive. Ajuste completo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. It's we, there a new car. <laughs> actually, you know, with what we spent, we could have probably bought a, a, cap, a car because, I mean, we spent on it uh, uh, more than 2000 oh. yeah. It's very it good. Was, another one yeah it was hard yeah i know what i mean when it comes to cars man uh it's always a problem but nowadays they are necessary so what can yeah. we do yeah but it's the bad part of the yeah of the commodity yeah yeah actually well fernando nice having you here welcome thank you teacher Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, hello. Have we talked yet? All right. No, not today. Teacher. Hello, how are you? Not today, <laughs> not today. That's cool, that's cool. How are you? <laughs> no, I'm really fine, teacher. Thank you for asking. What about you? Okay, tell me. Today was, today is a day off for you, right? Yes, yes. Today is you my day to off. The beach? I went to or the bank. No, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I will go to today the beach. was the bank. Tomorrow is the beach, right? Yeah, today was the bank. Was a, a terrible day at the bank no, that's because I have to wake up. <laughs> that's yeah, a nice so. and beautiful experience. Well, actually, it depends on the bank and the agency. But mm -hmm. lately, the problem is that. Uh, with the with the virus the problem is that many of the bank agencies i mean they have they've been hit bad yeah that's right they have reduced uh, her personality their personality the personal yep the personal yep the personal they have reduced the personal so it's terrible because uh, a bunch of, of person uh right to make a lot of transaction so it's really bad and also we have we have let me see two banks near about that bank is a bank agricola bank agricola so uh they close the third agency at the sun so the the both that are continue working they are fully up a lot yeah i understand you i mean going to the bank now this is a, a hideous experience do you know this yeah. word hideous no it's a synonym of horrible hideous yeah hideous experience and whenever you say hideous you are saying horrible uh another another just that tedious is like a very very 
it's a higher level of vocabulary. But colloquially, mm -hmm. colloquially, instead of saying it's a horrible experience, I mean, on everyday speaking, people say, oh, awful. awful. And it's the same. Mm -hmm. It's just the, the, the level of vocabulary, okay? You got like awful here is colloquially, but he uses like um, a higher level of vocabulary. Okay. You got my meaning? That's come from... Um, I don't remember the word is uh, native. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's native just a, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there are also express, expressions, like I told you, if you get my meaning, I was actually going to tell you this. And it's the same, if you get my meaning, if you catch my drift. If okay. you catch my drift, it means uh, if you get my meaning, if you understand yeah. what if you I follow am saying. Me. Can I say? Yeah. If you follow, yeah. Are you following yeah. me? That's if uh -huh. you are understanding the, the, the flow of my vocabulary of what I'm saying to you. If you catch my drift. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, going to the bank is like, ah, oh, terrible. Actually, yeah, I, you waste a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the feeling I get whenever whenever I get I go to the bank uh, is this look I I despair despair of going to the bank mm -hmm. yeah that's my when you are sitting the waiting for your your turn desesperación yes <laughs> that's despair so I despair of going to the bank, man. I'm like, you know, I am a very patient person. I try to be, well, <laughs> I try to be a very patient person. Uh -huh. Up to this day, I mean, I've been driving like for oof, a lot more than 20 years. Up to this day, I have never ever encountered a traffic jam that makes me desperate. Mm -hmm. Never. I mean, uh -huh. I never lose my cool on a traffic jam. And I have mm -hmm. been stuck in traffic jams like three hours. Wow. I mean, once it took me almost three hours from Soya Pango to San Martin, and I was cool. I mean, that's not a problem for me. But going to the bank, man, I hate that thing. <laughs> it's one of the situations. The problem is this, in some banks, I mean, you cannot, uh, sometimes you cannot take out your cell phone. And sometimes I forget bringing my paperback book. So if I got a book on my hands, I can sit and stay there sitting one hour, two hours, no problem. But if I'm not mm -hmm. reading, at least I get like bored, anxious, desperate, so well. I understand you when you tell me that it was a, a horrible experience. Going to banks now is terrible. Hmm. Yeah, I, I know what you meant, teacher. But the good thing is this, tomorrow you're going to let off some steam. Yeah, tomorrow I will uh, drop a lot of stress. Yeah, and that's yeah. nice. Jose yeah. Alfredo, a pleasure talking to you, welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're well. Thank you. Thank you to you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Wilfredo Guardado, hello. How are you? Fine, teacher. How's everything? Um, the same story. Same story, teacher, but, but now is my last day at home in, in quarantine. Oh. In quarantine. Oh really? Yes, yes. Tomorrow is going to to be very nice because um, I will go to play at 12, 12 o'clock. At noon. Then at noon. At noon. Yes. And then then uh, I am going to go to Metapan. 
to oh. see the, my songs uh, much. Yes. That's nice. Yes, That's really, nice. really nice. I, I, so, I, I need to. Feel, and you will feel free. Yes. Yes, of course, of course. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I man. Think... I, I actually, uh, in my case, I, I fear, I fear to be in that situation. Because for me, staying just inside the house is pretty, pretty difficult. I even can the, you know, even last year uh, when the pandemic was in high and that we were in, everybody was in strict quarantine, uh, I used to go out. I mean, I used to go shopping for for everybody, like Meal. for my in-laws, yes. for my in-laws, for my house, and I used to go to get uh, medicines to the doctor at Seguro Social. And I mean, I was always, always available for everybody. Everybody, anybody needed a favor to go out, I was like, okay, no problem, I can go. <laughs> I was grabbing yes. any excuse I could in order to be out, because for me, it's uh, pretty difficult. When, when we were in quarantine teacher last year, um, I had to go for medicine for my, my neighbor, my neighbor because yeah. they are very, very old, both. Then sometimes I remember in the morning, um, my neighbor told me if I can, if I could go, but, uh, but because they, they can't, they, they couldn't, couldn't go. Yeah. And then I, I told to my wife, uh, hey, I, I need to go that the travel teacher was when I arrived at the hospital. Man, many, many people over there. And it, it was very crazy. And when I when I saw to doctor and nurses with your it is like astronaut teacher. <laughs> with it their, was with their, yes. yeah with their with their protection uh, dressing gear. Yes. Uh, personal. It was scary. Protection. Yes, yes, but um, I I got the medicine for them. <laughs> I I came back at home, <laughs> I, but I, I remember I remember teacher. But um, near to my house, the police uh, they they were all day and all night checking what the people what the people go to do or the what go deal. Then I remember that the police told me, "Hey, this this day, this is not your, your day to to go out. No, but I need to help to my neighbor because they are very old. I need to go for their medicine." Ah, okay, okay, don't no problem. But yeah. it was crazy, teacher. Yeah, then now, I... teacher, I, it 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 was my case. Now it, it was different because. Um, we were help, but only if I need some something. And my oldest John, he 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 could go over there by the meal or another another thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. It's cool, and and it's you know when we got kids, uh, it's always good to encourage them. Yes. Encourage them to, to, to do stuff on their own, to motivate them to do stuff on their own. I mean, it helps them be more responsible, right? Yes. yes. Wilfredo, yes, it's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. <clears throat> okay, okay. Teacher, teacher. Yeah, I only want to say that, that I'm going to get connection with my cell phone because I, I, I have a problem with my, my internet. No problem, no problem. Okay, teacher. Let's see. Roxana, you didn't go. get COVID yet, teacher? Who? Me? Yes. No, not yet. You're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I've been. 
because I've been out uh, and the problem is that, you know, some of my clients are, are doctors and I, and I have to go teach them actually at their clinics. And uh, there's one that I was in contact with a lot of people at the same time, but well, I've been lucky. Yeah, very lucky. Uh, at the moment, no, cross fingers, no, fingers crossed. Roxana, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? So far, so good, teacher. It was a hard day in my work because I am in closing and I didn't finish it, but I mm -hmm. I hope tomorrow uh, I will uh, take an advantage and maybe Monday I will finish. And the other side, <clears throat> uh, okay, today okay, my okay, mother... okay, okay, just give me a second, just give me a second. Tomorrow you are going to take advantage of... Yes. Yes, because take it's advantage a... is... Yes, the, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. The idea you're trying to express to me is this, that uh, va a aprovechar mañana, right? Yes. Okay, now, uh, you are right on saying, take, I will take advantage. But in English, you cannot say it just like that. Okay. You need to be a little bit more specific. I will take advantage of tomorrow time in order to finish, okay? Because okay. Uh, in Spanish, just with that phrase, yeah, we, we understand the idea. But in English, that idea is not expressed like that, okay? Okay. Okay, then in the other side, on the other hand. And the other hand, uh, I'm in quarantine now because uh, my mother Say has what? COVID. Yeah, my mother is sick now. And so sorry I, to hear that. Yes, and we are in jail. You know, <laughs> more than the oh other day. Oh my days. gosh. Okay, and who's gonna go do the shopping? I'm not sure, maybe my father or... or me, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure, teacher, because uh, the last time that I did the shopping, shop, sí, 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 yeah. la última vez que yo hice el super, the last time, I bought a lot of things, but I need to check what they need. Yeah, sure. Maybe yeah. I will, yeah, maybe I will go to the market, but uh, I'm not sure when. Okay, okay. Let's hope everything comes out okay. And I'm so sorry to hear that, you know, but uh, this, I mean, this year has started hard with the virus. Yes. Yes, Where the last are? month, well, this month, no, see in the The last month, my son has uh, COVID. Do you know why I was I was talking about that last time? Yeah. Uh, but uh, there was the re the rest of the people was were okay, but in this moment my mom is not okay, and the rest of the of the family is uh, I don't know normal. Yeah. It's weird because uh, sometimes you have some some uh, symptoms but these are uh, irregular irregular symptoms okay. for a moment it's like a como psicológico quizás yeah 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 <clears throat> but everything is okay I, I i hope the rest of the days will be better yeah you know Let's be patient. Let's hope for the best. Yes. 
and let's take all, all the all the all the measures i mean that's all we can do right now yeah we need to stay in jail yeah you know uh, two weeks ago let's see uh, two weeks ago I, we had contact with one two three four five six persons who tested positive yeah what? they tested positive yeah relatives I mean, we went to, to the house of some of them and no more, because in that house, the four of them got, I mean, we went Saturday, on um, Wednesday, they tested positive. And yeah. my sister-in-law <clears throat> tested positive the same Wednesday. Her son, actually her son, I took him to the, to be tested on Saturday, he tested positive. Mm. Okay. Uh, and he had stayed over in my mm -hmm. house for a couple of days, actually in this very same room. And we tested, we went, we got tested and no problem. So we've been lucky, we've been lucky actually. Yeah, it's complex. Yeah, virus are like that. Well, Roxana, yeah. nice having you here. Let's hope everything turns out okay. Thank you, teacher. And be careful, watch out. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, I said six persons, six. Because I cannot say six people. You got me there, uh, Erwin, Erwin is asking me that I sell six person. And I am explaining that I cannot say uh, six people. Okay, now let me try to. to, to, to. When uh, Erwin, are you around? Hello. Hello. Okay, everybody. Uh, I'm going to explain something to you. Erwin is asking me that I sell six persons got sick. Now, uh, it's a little bit complex to to explain because if the individuality, individuality, individuality uh, of the person remains. So I am talking about six persons and I'm telling you, oh, this one and that one and that one. Then I explain who they are, I can this person. But if the whole idea, uh, it's related to the, to the collective, to the group, then it's people. Do you understand me, Erwin? Yes, but I have here about the, if you are talking about one, it's a person. And if you yes. talk about two or three, four, five people, it, it was my, my question. Okay, yeah, it's true. It's true, if you talk about one, it's person, if you talk about more it's people but uh, grammatically grammatically it depends on as i told you on the sense of the sentence okay okay but it's possible to say uh, two three four five six persons yeah you can say it in some situations you can Okay. Just you. remember, it's in this case, to, to be honest with you, is this. Grammatically, you can use both, and it's okay. More popular is people. Because usually when you refer to, to six people, you're referring to a group. And the sense of the idea that you are trying to transmit is about 
the collective, okay, the group. But if the idea you are trying to make the other person understand is that six different persons, you are, you are still keeping the individuality of each one of them because they are different. And what I am expressing about them on a sense is different. I told you, oh, there were six persons of the family who got sick. Four belonged to a one family and the others belonged to another family. So I am separating them. They are not exactly the same group. Okay, so in this case, I am saying persons. Okay. Ah, interesting. You know, it's actually a, it's actually a topic that I don't usually explain, and it's cool to to to, to remember all those little aspects, all those little uh, all those little nonsense of the of the language. Do you know that word, guys? Nuances? Nuances? No. No. I said all those little nuances of the language. Todos esos matices del idioma. Okay. Now, okay. it's been a very, it's been a very interesting uh, section, guys. And if you notice, if you check the chat. Today, I was focused more on giving you new vocabulary. Uh, if you have the opportunity to, to copy it down, and if you notice, I've been using a lot of medicines, like uh, they have been hit bad. That's a medicine. I mean, it's uh, colloquially, it means that uh, when we were talking about the banks, I expressed, oh, they have been hit bad. That idea means that it has affected them a lot. Okay. Then we go, we went to use if you catch my drift. That expression focus on the idea that if you understand what I mean, also colloquially. Then we went to vocabulary like hideous, awful, okay, despair. Now nuances. Uh, the idea why am I doing this is for you to get uh, acquainted with more vocabulary, for you to get uh, acquainted and familiarized with more vocabulary, okay? That's the idea. Because at the level that you are right now, I would advise you to start like looking for for more vocabulary to start trying to read uh, in your, perhaps in your areas or in something that really attracts you to start reading in English. Like uh, you get into, I don't know, if you get into the web, uh, you can read um, serious formal stuff like uh, stories like Reader's Digest, that's easy English, I mean. And if you want to get more serious with your vocabulary, you can go to, um, I don't know, you can read uh, newsletters like uh, National, National Geographic, stuff like that. So you can get in contact with different vocabulary. Just remember something. If you start doing those exercises, I don't, I don't advise you to get into big readings, okay? Just if you get, uh, that's why I'm suggesting for you newsletters, something that it's simple that uh, if it's a story you are reading two pages, three pages, that way you will have enough time to read once, twice in order to get the idea. Then my next suggestion, if you start doing those exercises, do not translate, try to get the general idea. Sometimes when you do those exercises, you will find vocabulary that you have seen before, but you do not understand. Okay, that vocabulary, forget about it. Focus on new vocabulary. 
you can look for perhaps the meaning, but look meaning in English, not translating. Try to get the meaning. That way, if you type a letter and type down meaning, you will get the explanation of which idea that word expresses. And that's going to help you because it's going to make you think more and it's also going to give you more vocabulary. So try to get the main idea. If you have any problem with some ideas, if you start doing those exercises, if you have any problem with some ideas, you can get a screenshot, send me the, the, the paragraph perhaps that you're having trouble with and I will gladly help you. So let's try to do that exercise. I will advise it for you, at least do it, uh, I mean, get a couple of pages per week. It's going to help you a lot. And you're going to start developing the habit. I know some of you have got the habit of reading, but the habit of reading and thinking in English at the same time, which is a whole different idea. And it's a whole different story. Now, when you start doing that, you will realize after a time that the words that you are, that you already know, or perhaps that you have heard before, even if you don't know the exact meaning, your mind is going to be processing them, not just reading the idea, but also like telling you the pronunciation. It's a beautiful exercise. Take it slowly. I recommend it for you. And believe me, it's going to help you lots. Now, uh, any question before I move on? Okay, if you need any recommendation for material for reading, I know I promised some of you that I was going to give it last month and due to some personal issues, I was not able to, but now I will have time. Let's see if you need any help or suggestion, let me know and I will help you, okay? Now let's move on guys. Let me get the attendance and then we can start uh, the second attendance, believe it or not, it's time and then we can move on with the next activity. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. <coughs> Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Eh, José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Francisco Figueroa, thank you, teacher. Thank you. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales Deportillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present, teacher. Alfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Thank you, Janira. Marcelo Noemí Batres Montarrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay. 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 Now guys, let's, after we finish up with the attendance, let's move on. Okay, now we are going to go to the, to the manual. We need to work in the manual. It's going to be easy, cheesy. Just get it fixed and ready. Okay, here we go. If you remember yesterday, I told you that we were going to work today with the manual. We are going to check it out a little bit. 
and we have oh, where am I? Oops, sorry. My bad. Here. Okay, vocabulary. One of the most popular concepts of the logistics management is the concept of the seven R's. Match the headlines to their corresponding examples. Then compare your answers with a partner. Now, what we got here? No problem, so we can get it. Okay. Now, what do we have here? We got right product, right place, right customer, right quantity, right condition, right time, right price. What do I want you to do? I need you to place to do the matching, okay? So we got here uh, Amazon, Dell, Grocer. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What we are going to do is I'm going to send you working groups. I'm going to give you five minutes for you to do the exercise. And it's going to be easy to see. Just let me get the picture for you guys. Because I always send it. There you go. And now I'm going to send you to the groups. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in.
No. But it's a... Sorry, sa mayroon din. Malala. La imagen, no sé. No. O la repetición. Yes. What's the meaning of per, perceivability? Perceivability. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Perceivability. Is similar a repetición. Concept. Perceivability. No, number three, teacher. Oh, uh, perceivability. That's a... Uh, 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 uh. De, de la, ¿cómo le decimos nosotros? La fecha de caducidad. Ah. Oh. Of perceivability. Ok. Sería. Sería. Right condition. Right condition, maybe. For the moment, right, right condition. Okay. Okay. Number four, Erwin. Okay. A local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in package and label bottles and to a bulk consumer in big cans. Consumer. Uh, right. Consumer. Uh, right quantity? Right quantity, maybe. Yeah. Right quantity. Okay. Okay. Number, number five. Maybe. Susana? Okay. Number five. Who's got a baby? Who's got a baby? Okay. 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 Yeah, got a baby. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> okay. It was on, on repeat, right? On repeat. Uh, yeah. Number, number one, in Amazon, most and sure products are delivered in within two days. And the customer in count and can wait. We've been to dice from some other company, but the that is a right condition, right condition, right? Right condition. Right. Okay. Which one is it? Which one is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Excuse me, teacher. Right condition. Okay, which one is? Would you mind repeating, please? Right condition is. Let's see. Condition number one. Amazon must yes. ensure products are right condition. Exactly. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> the second one, Dell must have strict controls and proceeds to ensure that products ordered on their website are delivered to the right location. That is right place. Hey, right. my friend, my friend. Hi, Walter. Excuse me. No, what? Don't worry. I'm <laughs> learning. I am learning. Listen to you. Okay, okay. <laughs> what do you think? What, what do you think, Walter? <laughs> I I told to Walter that this is no problem. You, you finish the, the activity, <laughs> but I I learned so much. Listen to you. Okay. Sorry, I, I don't. No, yo como, excuse me, lo tenía minimizado, no te había visto, Don't worry, sí, don't worry. Ajá, no, no lo había minimizado y vos lo mirabas atrás, como con él comenzamos y hasta ahorita que de repente vi como que. Okay. Right. Right product, maybe. Maybe, exactly, right product. Which one? Number <laughs> six. Number six. Yes, right product. Is that correct? Yep. Awesome. Okay. Are you the... going to soplarnos? <laughs> I just did. Okay. We, we are. Have... We have a doubt with the number four because. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Yes, we say that. Right, customer. Okay. Is that correct? Is that correct? Well, you're okay. Yes, right, ah, customer. Okay. Okay. Thank right, you. customer. Thank you. 
And so the last one should be Marcela, the one has missing. To, has to guarantee that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to cost. Um, right. Uh, we already have sufficient amount of products and to ensure right time delivery to customer. Mm -hmm. Right what? Right time. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that is the right time. Oh my yep. God. <laughs> so we okay. have- By the way, uh, Jose Wilfredo right now is just a listener, okay? Yes, he's driving. He he said that he's driving right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Oh my gosh! What happened to me? How could I leave this group together? Oh. <laughs> we are working. No comments. Bro. That's cool. That's cool. Which one are you right now? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Well. <laughs> yes. Well, the first one is right time. No. <laughs> oh, you made a mal. The second is right play. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Yes. Uh, number three, right condition. Uh uh. When... <laughs> I know. Number four, uh, right well, customer. Oh, good. Okay, number five, right price. Perfect. Number six, right product. Okay. And number seven, right quantity. Man. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, okay, grocer has to be quantity requirement is a uh, right quantity. Okay, number hold three. On, hold on, hold on. Let me do something with you guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me. Okay. Look at the screen. Do you see the screen? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Do you notice this? H U L. Uh, you know what is H U L? Uh -uh. H U L no. is uh, 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 Unilever. Ah, okay. It's a uh, well, actually, it's a uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's an Indian branch of the. This is a British company, right? Yes, I guess. Yeah, it's a British company. So, has to guarantee that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customer. Mm, so okay. It's exactly for right time, the right moment. Okay. Hmm. And the, so uh, in number one, look, Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it within two days from, from some other company. Okay. So if, if just this gives you an idea, when do we use if? Condition. Mm -hmm. When we if express what? Con conditions. Ah, okay, so it's expressing mm. a condition. Uh, if the customer can get it within two days from other company, oh, Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. That's a condition, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Give me a so number three is right quantity. Quiero ver. 
Hasta que existe cantidad de esos. Yeah, right quantity. Entonces tenemos right condition, mm -hmm. right place, right quantity, right customer, right price, perdón, right product, and right time. Así, así lo tengo, así, así uh -huh. sería. Ahí sí, ¿no? Ok. Yes. Okay. Finish? Yes, we finished. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Now I got it, everybody. Perfect. Let's do the exercise. Oops. Let's do it right now, right here. Okay, let's see. Who's going to be the first one? Walter, you got the first one. Okay, teacher. Okay, and Amazon most eventual products are delivered within two days in the customer and categories. And we today from some other company is a right condition. Perfect, Walter. This is right condition. Okay, this one, this one was easy, guys. Why? Because if you remember, whenever we got it, we are expressing a condition. But let's see another one. Ana Claudia, number two. Okay. Uh, we discuss with my partner and we think the second one is the right place. Okay, so you said that for this one, it's uh -huh. right place. And you are correct. Would you mind oh, okay. reading? Okay. Teacher, teacher, I'm sorry. Why the number one is not the right time? Oh, because it's not that Amazon does it all the time. It's not that Amazon delivers everywhere, everything within two days. Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days if, if the customer can get it within two days from some other company. If the condition exists, then Amazon does it. Okay? So, this sentence, this idea that products are delivered within two days depends on the condition of the company. So, this is a right condition, okay? But the condition is the time, teacher. I'm sorry? The condition yes. is the time. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the structure of the sentence? Yes, but okay. I'm sorry, I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Es que no le está diciendo que Amazon entrega a todo el mundo en dos días. Le está diciendo que si el cliente presenta esa condición, entonces Amazon tiene la política de adaptarse a la condición que el cliente le pone, a la condición que otra empresa le puede dar a ese cliente. Por eso es right it. condition. Got it? Got it, yeah, thank you. No problem, no problem. Sorry, guys. Let's continue. So, oopsie. I'm sorry. My bad. Oops. So, this one we said that was a uh, condition. Right condition. We said that this one was right place. Right place. Thank you. Number three, it's gonna go to, let's see. Mm -hmm. Fernando, you got number three. Uh, we made a mistake in number three. We have right condition. Okay, no problem, no problem. Francisco, what right. you got in number three? For me, teacher, is uh, right quantify. Quantity. Sorry, qu okay. quant right quantity. Let's see, right quantity. Perfect. Please read it. Okay, teacher. Uh, Roser has to meet quantity requirement from the customer and ensure that the quantify of the product is not affected by perishability. Yes, caducidad. That's the okay. meaning of this, of this word, okay? Now let's Senor. see non, number four, uh, Mr. Rosario. Uh, hello, teacher. I'm I'm not sure. Number four. Yep. Me. Tell me your idea. <laughs> if not, uh -huh. don't worry. I will let you know. A uh, local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in package and label it bottles to bulk in consumers. The cans. Mm. No, teacher. I'm not sure. Excuse me. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let's see, Marcela, what you got for this one? Um, uh, we got customer, right customer. Okay. Perfect. It's right customer. Please, Marcella, read it again. Okay. A uh, local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in packaged and labeled bottles and to a bulk consumer in big cans. I don't know. Both. A... Both. Yes, tell me. Both. You don't know what? Um, yeah, labeled. <laughs> uh, etiquetado? No, but, but the pronunciation. Oh, <laughs> it depends. If you're British, you say label, label. If you're American, some American says label, label or label. Label. It's label, label, okay. label. Yep. Label. Okay, yeah. thank you. Empaquetado. Thank you, teacher. Okay, number five. Uh, Stephanie. Let me check number five. Samsung must ensure that their mobiles are charged Mobiles. with the correct. 
uh, mob, mobiles are charged with the corresponding price to the to the retailer stores and consumers. We have the next second to see the uh, by one, two, three, four, five. Um, yes. I think we have a mistake. I don't know because we have right prices, I think. Right? Prices? Right, right, it's right. Price, yes. Nicolas was telling <laughs> us right price. Perfect. Samsung must ensure that their mobiles are charged with the corresponding prices to the retailer stores and customers. Okay, now let's see. Mm -hmm. Susana, you got six. Excuse me, teacher. Is a right product? Okay. Read it, please. Uh, product that the customer need a, they either today. Either, or, either. Either today or in the future. A smartphone, laptop, HD, in TV, etc. Okay. Now, with this word, guys, some people you will hear saying either, some people you will hear saying either, okay? If you're British, you will say either. In some other countries, you say either, but you can listen to both pronunciation and it's okay. It's okay, it's like neither and neither. Both pronunciations are accepted, okay? Now, uh, Susanna told us this was right product. Okay, last one, let's see. Uh, Ambar, are you around? Yes. Would you mind reading last one, please? That is right time. Okay. Paul has to guarantee that sufficient amounts of products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customer. Right time. Okay. That's right time. Perfect. Thank you very much, Amber. Appreciate it. Okay. Now, guys, remember H U L or Paul. That's uh, in this case, this is uh, on 11. Okay, this is stands for on 11 company. Okay, any question? Guys, no, let's continue then. No. Okay, let me, let me, let me get rid of this. And no, oh, 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 okay. Sorry, 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 this is question. Uh, here we go. Okay. Now, think of your own or your own experience as a customer. Choose three of the seven R's and discuss why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the consumer, okay? Okay, think of your own experience as a customer. Choose the three of choose three of the seven R's and discuss why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the consumer. Now, guys, I will make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups. According, just give me a second, please. My boss is right texting me.
Okay. I am creating just seven groups. Let me see. Well, no, actually I have, yeah. We got seven groups. So group number one, Nuria, Stephanie, and Wilfredo. You're going to tell me why the right product is important. Group number two, Amber, Francisco, and Marcela. You're going to focus on right place. Daniel, Maria Alejandra, and Frank. You're going to be working with right customer. Ana Claudia, Jose Osorio, and Marta Morales. You're going to be working with right quantity. Fernando Gonzalez, Rebecca Monterrosa, and Walter. You are going to be working on right condition. Erwin, Jose Wilfredo, and Shanira, you are going to be working on right time. And Nicolás, Roxana, and Susana, you're going to be working with right price. Okay, guys? So, groups are created. You will have eight minutes to perform this activity. I'll be checking out the groups. If you need any help, let me know. Teacher. Yes, mister. I don't know what happened with my cell phone, but I, I, I can, I can check if I, I enter to the group. Let me see. Oh, got a problem. Let me check. Where are you? You're supposed to be in group number one. I will send you to group number five, not number two, and then I will. From there, I will send you to group number one, okay? Okay. You got your invitation now? Oops. I am so sorry, my friend. Uh, nobody can be connected with you. Would you mind uh, working on an explanation on your own, Erwin? I'm sorry, teacher. Would you mind working alone? Um. Actually, I didn't understand the, okay, <laughs> the instruction. The activity. It's simple. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Your group number six. So, mm -hmm. what you're going to right do is follow right. Number six is right time. Time. So, yeah, right time. So, okay. tell me, tell me why right time is relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer. Okay. Uh, this is the idea that you need to explain. Work on your work on your thesis. Let's call it like that, and be ready to explain it to the class. Okay. Okay. Thank That's you. okay. 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but Janita has a problem right now uh, with her cell phone. And Jose Wilfredo's wife had a small accident in the kitchen. Híjole. Okay. So he's taking her okay. to the doctor. Okay. That's right. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna buy any more that uh -huh. product. Say what? <laughs> You don't want to work in my class. Ah, huh. <laughs> no, I was thinking about the right product. <laughs> okay, remember what you're going to tell me is why that are the right product, that idea. You're going to tell me why is it relevant to ensure a positive experience for customer. You get the idea of what right product means from the previous exercise, right? Yes. Well, so now you tell me why is good to have a positive experience for the customer. That's the idea that you are going, one of you is going to explain to the rest of the class. For example, um, I was talking with Nuria, that what yeah. I understood, if for example, in the last is in the last exercise, the question, the 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 the, the sixth one was right product and says product that the customer needs either today or in the future. A smartphone, okay, laptop. Why is that are relevant? Oh, it's very relevant because you want the customer to have a positive experience in your company, right? So if you are providing, if you are fulfilling the, a customer needs, the customer feels satisfied with your company. Perhaps yeah. it is a product or perhaps it is a service. But if you provide what the customer needs or if, or if even you go even farther and you provide something that the customer doesn't need right now, but will need in the future, the customer feels happy. So then you have a positive experience for, it, for him or her. Yeah. And I just did your activity. I'm out of here. <laughs> for example in my in well in my own experience that happened with headphones okay hello guys just a small question did you understand the idea what you were gonna do <laughs> you're group number two right you're group are... number two <laughs> Okay, yeah. as group number two, you got to sign a uh, right, right, place. right place. Okay, now what you need to tell me is why the idea that we get with right place is relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer. Okay, now let's look at the idea we have from the previous exercise. In the previous exercise, right place was number two, right? Yes. Yes. So, and it said, ah, Dell must have strict controls and processes to ensure that products ordered on their website are delivered to the right locations. Why is it important to ensure a positive experience for the customer? Oh, because if Imagine that you are a company, you are, uh, you are delivering a product to the, to the customer and the customer calls you like, look, uh, the product you told me was gonna be here like yesterday and you got like, okay, where's the product? Oh, it says at a different location. It's in another country. The customer feels bad, angry. But if you ensure that all the product gets to the right customer at the right location, then you ensure that that customer has a positive experience with your company, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's that's what I need you to explain to your to your classmate, but on your own words. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh well. And we were talking about. Yes. Okay, yes. guys. Did you understand the activity? Yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Maybe a little, a little. Bit. Okay, you are, are you're group about... number three, right? 
So yeah. you were talking about right customer. Yes, the importance of, of a customers. And right customer is, uh, the example you have from the pre previous exercise is, okay, you sell the, the proper product to the proper customer. So that means that yeah. if, uh, if Maria Alejandra is a big company and their needs of their products are bigger, you don't, you don't sell her little boxes, you sell her big boxes, okay? But Billman okay. is a single customer. He doesn't need that big quantity. He needs little things. So you bring him, you offer him the product that he needs. In the presentation, most uh, appropriate for his needs. That's the idea. You give the product to the client according to their needs. Like imagine I sell sauce, tomato sauce. You can explain it like that to your classmates, okay? I'll give you an idea. Imagine that I sell okay. tomato sauce. Maria Alejandra's got a restaurant. Billman just need, Frank just need a sauce for his kitchen at home. So I will go to Maria Alejandra with the big bottle presentation, right? The gallon. Mm -hmm. But to Frank, I will go with the little bottle, right? Mm -hmm. So that's right customer. Customer was yours or funny. Yes, yes, yes. We were talking about some examples, but no quantity, quantity or like no, no customer. Customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Yeah. <clears throat> Teacher, we are talking about some examples like uh, more about segment of customers. Yeah, and we are talking about some examples, some business like a uh, Sara Pulimbere and those kind of those business. We were talking about that those stores have their own kind of customers, uh, specifically in, in teenagers and young people, right? Yeah. We, we understand. Yeah, and, and, and they advertise to that for that type of customer. Yeah, we understand that, that question in that way, but I don't know if we are, we are wrong. You can use both examples to explain to your classmates, the one you got and the one I, I gave you. Okay, perfect. No, it's not. Of course not. <laughs> okay, you got right quantity. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, remember, before anything, remember that you need to explain to your classmates why is it relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer? That's what you're going to explain to your classmate. Remember the example you have, right quantity. Okay, the example you have from the previous exercise was grocer has to meet quantity requirements from the customers and ensure that the quantity of the products is not affected by perishability. That's easy, right? That means uh, for the for the for the for the for the customer to have a good experience with your product, you must ensure that you provide the right quantity, the right amount, not too much, not too few, right? Mm -hmm. Or not too many. Yes. Did you get me? Did you get it? Yes, we were talking uh, about that. Uh, uh, we were uh, recalling the times when the pandemic started and everybody was looking for a mask at the beginning and it was oh, so yeah. difficult to purchase alcohol here. Uh -huh. There was not right quantity. Mm -hmm. Perfect, good example. Excellent, let me go check another group. Oh, yes. Okay, guys, you got what was yours, right? Condition. Right condition. 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 Let's see. Yeah. 
from the previous example, you got that right condition is ah, that you need, well, the example is a little bit complex, right? All right. That when you refer to right condition, let me try to rephrase it for you. Okay. We have so a discussion. Like, what you we, got? We were in a, a discussion about the, the, the meaning of the, of the right condition. Okay. Okay, let's see, right condition. Now, let me explain something for you. When you say, mm -hmm. the, when you say right condition, uh, when it's about delivery, it mm -hmm. refers to the safety factor in shipping, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, it also refers to the quality of the product. Mm -hmm. It refers okay. to the packaging, okay? Okay. So that's another idea when you talk about condition. Yeah, that's my idea about the state of the product. Yes. Yes, I think we, we, we confuse condition with, uh, uh, I got the, the word you said, uh, the, ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. But it, okay. it's, the example in the, in the, in the exercise is very complex about yes, Amazon. And, yeah, so yes, it is. when I talk about right condition, I think in, in that in that concept price. Yeah, no, price. but it's okay. It's okay. The, the concept you are getting, it's okay. 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 Let me. Uh-huh, your mama. Mi mami se enfermó en el trabajo. Ella no oh. sale. <laughs> It's almost, almost everybody got it like that. Okay, girls, yes. what you got? You got right time, right? No, right price. price. No, right. right price? Huh? Yes. yes. Let me check on something. You are group number seven. Group number seven has the last one. The last one. Oh, yeah, right price. My bad. Okay, let's see. And right price, what? Well, that's easy, no? Yeah. And the first one is a good relation between price and quantity. Yeah, exactly. And that the price is clear for the person. And that yeah. it's, uh, and that, so that the person, yeah, what you said, those relations uh, between price and quality. Excellent. Yes. And the other uh, is mandatory show the price. Hello, teacher. Oops. Hello, are you ready, Erwin? Uh, my topic is right time, right? Yep. Number six. Okay, thank you. And what's the topic for number seven? Number? Seven? Price. Right price? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me be honest with you. I'll be blunt. Uh, we just have a few minutes, so. I will give you one minute for your explanation. So I need you to please be as succinct as possible, okay? 
and I don't know how to say this in Spanish succinct. Sorry. Uh, how can I explain this word? Hmm. I don't know. I don't, I know the term, but I cannot explain it. Sucinto? Well, I need it to be short and specific to the point, okay? That's succinct. So let's see. From group number one, I got Nuria Stefania and Wilfredo Guardado. Who's going to talk to me? I'm sorry, my dad. Uh, we were talking about the right product and we have the opinion to have the right product. It's so positive with any company, any service, because when you have a different kind of product, this is important when the person can find everything that they want. And then they came back to this company or service when we provide them everything that they want. Okay, perfect. Just give me a second. Perfect. Let's see, let me. Let's see, next group, uh, Ambar, Francisco, and Marcela. Who's going to explain to us, guys? We were talking about the right place and the, the last exercise, it, we learned that it, it, it it is about the procedures and like the organization that a company needs to give a delivery in the right place. Um, for example, Amazon, if they tell us we, we will receive a product in three months or two months, if we, if we don't receive the, the product, we, we were talking about the customer will get a headache. And that's why it's important to, 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 to deliver a, the, 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 the product in the right place. Because first, a, in the first place, the, the customer will have a good experience. And the second one is that the customer will come back to the company. If I ask for something and they don't give what I ask for, I, I will never uh, buy some. Uh, we'll buy buy yeah, perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Group number three, Maria Alejandra and Frank, who's going to talk to us. Hi, Maria Alejandra. I try, but I, I don't know if the idea to understand. Um, I put the example that if you, for example, my father have a water sale, a water sale and he sale to other people than if necessary only a small pieces, and these persons or seller to decide if I uh, put a different package or or different thing to retail uh, the pe person to need a uh, uh -huh, small product than because he sell only a uh, rose or royo de tela. Yeah, rose. Uh huh, cloth, rose. Cloth rose. Clothes no, fabrics, 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 uh -huh. fabrics, fabrics, and fabrics. in 
I don't know if it's an example. Perfect. It's okay. Thank you. Ana Thank Claudia, you. Mr. Osorio, and Marta, who's going to talk to me, guys? Whoever but Ana Claudia. Come on, Marta was prepared. Perfect. This. Thank you. No, it's just that uh, they have not participated as much as you, Ana Claudia. Don't get mad at me, please. <laughs> don't okay. tell me off. Okay. So, Marta, thank you. Where's Marta? Marta, talk to me. Okay. Um, my partner, um, uh, me, I talk about the what important is the right quantity because uh, is, for example, in drugstore or uh, food, for example, is very important affect the customer for perishability. But uh, the best example is in the beginning of the pandemic, when the uh, production for masks is uh, less. So was, the, was behind, yeah. Was, was less for the experience for customer is a uh, is a no good uh, in in this case it's very important no too much uh, product but not too less product yeah now the better a better way to express the idea was that the production was behind okay. the behind the demand okay okay Thank you, teacher. Perfect. No, thanks to you. Now, number five. Let's see, Fernando, Rebecca, and Walter. Okay, guys, who's going to explain to me? Walter is our voice. Okay, cool. Mute, please. Walter. You got. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Este, um, right condition. Yes, um, please. My partner, me, a condition is uh, uh, um, difícil de explicar. <laughs> okay. It's a condition the different company. And and a, a condition the the contraction contratation teacher how do you say contract and contract. contract and for example and the company and and the and the and the other company is a condition the the or company a condition the uh, quality good quality good uh, package and do the exportation, the data, and my company and not, how do you say, cumple? Uh, fulfills. Fulfills. Uh, exportation is a receipt, uh, a multa. How do you say multa? Penalty. Okay. I foresee the penalty. Is the important uh, right condition? And, and but uh, we had no problem. Okay, perfect, excellent. Erwin, your turn, please. Okay, uh, in order to improve and ensure a good quality, a good quality of service, uh, it's important to to. Say, uh, to value, to, to, to make value, hacer valer? Yes. Yeah. Okay, to make, to make, make value. Count. To make uh, it count. Make it count the, the right time. Um, okay. I love to, to, to make the, the competition, no, la, la apuesta. The bet? With, with Pizza Hut. When I okay. I I pay Pizza Hut to, to to my house, and they have only thirty minutes to serve. So if they don't serve in thirty minutes, 
I, I don't pay my crypto. <laughs> yeah. So this okay. is the, the the good thing. The good things to 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 make value of this term that uh, right time. Okay, excellent. Now, please, Roxana and Susana. Well, a uh, good experience about right price is when uh, the customer has a good relation between a uh, price and quantity and when the prices show in all the stores and maybe when uh, the um, stores avoid fake advertising about uh, prices, for example. And good prices uh, keep customer coming back. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, uh, extra homework. I need to work on the manual, and I'm sending you the picture right now so you can get it. If you don't have it handy, that's page 19, exercise six. I need it as a homework for. Monday. Uh, let me get the attendance real quick. Thank you very much. Pretty, pretty nice uh, activity, discussion, and analysis. I just love it. You did pretty well. Uh, to be honest with you, you did better than expected. With the exception of, of Ana Claudia, because she gets mad at me, but what can I do? No. I'm kidding. I know. Amber Elian Faro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Amber. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Present teacher. Thank you. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portilla. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Nuria Elizabeth López Carlera. Present teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Sanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Hey guys, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. See you Monday. See you Monday. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Rebecca. I think so. You should just stay. Frank. Go on. So we'll play the wrong. We'll play over that way. Oh, so we'll play the now you are busy. I will get you out of here. Mr. Guardado. Tell me, teacher. Hello, how are you? Happy. Happy. Yeah, of course, because <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to be free to go over there. Okay. You are using right now your cell phone, right? Yes, sir. Okay, give me just a second because I want to share something with you. Just give me a second. Don't go, don't go, don't go because I need to do some logistics here. Okay. Don't 
don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. Let's see. Let's see. Perfect. It's just that uh, I am trying to encourage uh, all the group to to get like a like like a goal, okay? Okay. To get like a goal for the the for the end of the course. So. And I am trying to, to help them out. Like uh, some people says that they want to they want to focus on I don't know the use of simple pass, the use of wood. Uh, let's see what else do I have. Um, the tenses, some tenses specifically. But in your case, uh, let's see. In your case, what I need to do is this. Let's see. Okay. I am sending you something for you to to. Whenever you got free time, I need you to check the info that I just sent you. Okay, check it out and practice some of the activities there and let me know if you have any doubt, okay? It's going to be helpful for you. It's going to help you a lot. I recommend it. Okay, teacher. I'm going to, to check it. If I need some help, I'm going to text you tomorrow or or you yeah, need yeah. some help? Yes, because teacher. Perfect. And for the end of the second of the next week, I need you to please remind me that I'm going to help you with with some other uh, activities. So uh, I need you to remind me next week at the end of the class so I can remember it and provide you with the with what you are going to do. Okay. Okay, teacher. No problem. Is there any question, something particular that, that you would like me to help you? Um, teacher, I I I need some help about when I can use neither am I or so can I or only neither. When for example, if I talk with you, for example, talking about soccer, if I talking with you some topic about soccer or you can if you can say me yo también oh that's me when, too that's me too neither is negative bueno, lo que pasa es esto mire. perdón que le explique en español don't worry eh, tenemos también y tampoco el problema es que a veces nosotros en español habemos hay muchas ocasiones en las que deberíamos de decir tampoco y decimos también. Como por ejemplo, Ajá. cuando una oración es negativa, a mí no me gusta esto. A mí tampoco. ¿Verdad? Pero eh, el salvadoreño, mucho del salvadoreño tiene la costumbre que lo dice opuesto, lo dice en afirmativo. A mí no me gusta esto. Ah, a mí también. Y el problema es que está bien si usted dice a mí también, pero si usted dice a mí también me disgusta o a mí también me queda mal, pero lo dejamos en, a mí también. Ahí ya es incorrecto. Ajá. Pero nosotros Muchos lo pensamos igual en inglés y ahí cambia. En inglés somos específicos, como deberíamos serlo en español. Okay. ¿Qué sería? El tú es también el neither o el either significan lo mismo. Tampoco. Ahora bien, eh, si usted usa el neither, tiene el problemita este que tiene que adaptarlo al tiempo verbal en el que le están hablando. I'll give you an example. Uh, I don't like, I don't like uh, reggaeton, okay? okay? Neither do I. Oh, eso fue presente simple, utilicé el auxiliar do, neither do I. Ahora escuche. I, I can't 
play the piano. Neither can I. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, sleep on a park. Neither would I. Si se fija, lo voy utilizando dependiendo del tiempo que me dice. Hay una, hay una versión corta que nos evita todos esos problemas. Ok. Que es me neither. Me neither. Me neither ah. se aplica para todo. If, if you told me, if you tell me, for example, uh, you don't like it, uh, reggaeton, I can me use this, this me neither. Yeah. Ah. Y el either or either para el final de la oración. Usted dice toda la oración. Oh, I don't like, uh, I don't like waiting at the bank either. Okay. Uh -huh. Ese es lo que de la oración. Pero si usted va a dar la respuesta corta. Usted dice, me neither, that applies for all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sleep in a park, me neither. I don't like reggaeton, me neither. You see? <laughs> you use it for all of them. Yeah. And it's okay, it's, it's right. And it's easier to remember. Yes, yes, it is easy. The other structure is easy to remember when you live in a country where they speak English because you hear it uh, constantly. So it becomes natural for you. But in the situation that we are right here, it's a little bit more complex because you have to start thinking like that. Yes. Uh, it is, I don't know if I have lots of assistance. No sé si le sirvió lo que le expliqué. Yes. Yes, because... I, I am going to to search uh, some help in, in or to to get for more more exercise to to practice, teacher. Because I will I uh, will provide some for you. Voy a buscar okay. y le, y le voy a ayudar ahí. No se preocupe. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay, if you can help me, it's going to be nice. It's going to be a pleasure for me. Have a good night, Alfredo. Okay. Take care. Okay, teacher. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much. Bye. See you tomorrow. Oh, wow. Monday. Monday. So yeah, well, a very productive class. See you Monday.